Okay, this was a real quick training tutorial on footnotes. Uh, first of all, footnotes are great for um, making a little notation about uh, something in your document that you want. Uh, maybe it's of significant importance and you want to mention it and you want to add some sort of information about uh, um, that helps explain maybe why you said something or uh, lots of different uses. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to find a section that we'd like to add a footnote to. And I'm just going to add it to the end of this paragraph here, but you could also add it anywhere where the insertion point is put. So right now I'd be putting a footnote right there where after the sum. But in this case, I'm just going to do it after the sentence. It most of the time comes after a sentence, but other, there are other times where maybe it's a word or something that needs to be, have more explanation. It could maybe be in a paragraph as well. Inserting a footnote is very easy because it's just like it might sound. Insert. But here's the trick, reference, reference. This is a reference material, so we're going to do insert reference footnote. When we do, we get some options. We can put it at the bottom of the page, or we can just put it just below the block of text that we're working with. If we put it at the bottom of the page, it'll be all the way at the bottom, no matter how, much, how many paragraphs we have in there. If it's below text, it'll be just below the set of text that we wrote. Uh, end notes, on the other hand, are at the end of the document. So maybe you have... 15 footnotes in an entire document, and you want those all to be placed at the end of the document, then you would use an end note. The formatting can be different. You can change it into um, symbols that you might use, letters, numbers, whatever the case. It, it's all just referencing the note at the bottom. You could also use a cup of cu custom mark. A lot of people use the star. I've seen that used quite often. Um, you want to start at number one if you're doing the numbering. Maybe though you have you're continuing another document, you'd maybe want to start with a ten or something. This is where you would change that, and you can apply the changes to the whole document. If uh, it was a larger document than this, there'd be more options there, but we just don't have a large enough document. So I'm going to go ahead and hit insert, and I want you to notice a couple things. It puts our footnote down here at the bottom with a little tiny number one, and you've got the little superscript number one right there as well. The um, document itself, I'm going to enlarge this a little bit so you can see it. There's the number one right there. The document itself would be written above the footnote, and this does not place it inside of the footer. If we go to view and we do um, the header and footer here, you can see that our header is still intact and our footer is still intact. So it actually puts the footnote above the footer. Just so you're aware of that, it does not affect your header and footer. So if you have done a footer for you know, a page number or something like this, it's not affecting that. Then you can type in some text. And I've misspelled everything. To change a spelling, by the way, guys, and notice here, I, the word has caught me on two different errors. Sum, sum. I used it twice. And it, it was like, that's, that can't be right. You couldn't, you couldn't have meant that. Some and some, you probably just wanted one. And I change it. It's happy with that now. And explanation is clearly spelled wrong. And so we can right-click this when it's highlighted in red. Right-click it. And we can go up to the correct spelling. So we can actually change that spelling. So there's a couple other little lessons for you as you're working in this. And yes, it is a fragmented sentence. That's why it's underlined in green. You can right-click to find out what the green is. But I'm not really too worried about it because it's for this example. You may need to have everything in a complete sentence, so you would have to change that. Okay, so now you can see here I have my number one, and I have my footnote at the bottom of the, of the uh, text. So that should help you out with uh, footnotes in your documents. For more videos like this, please visit mrcross.org.